Hey, everybody. I uh, thought I would jump on this morning and just go over a, like some solds. And um, I have no idea like how many I'm actually going to look at um, and show you. And I also wanted to talk about why I am gutting my inventory and kind of uh, eliminating probably close to a third of it. Um, so I will uh, be going over that. We're going to let a couple people join. It's early. It's um, early on the West Coast. So um, I may not have quite as many people join today, which is fine. Um, hopefully they can watch it later. And um, but I just needed to get this out of my way. I had planned to do it last night about 930. And then because my husband had already gone to bed. Hey, Linda. Hey, Kim. My husband had already gone to bed like early, like super early, like eight o'clock. And I'm like, I'm going to jump on and do a, um, a live show. I'm going to show uh, my solds and stuff. And then about nine o'clock, I heard him upstairs taking a shower. And I'm like, I thought he was in bed. So 9.15, he comes down and he goes, you want to go get ice cream? So I had to postpone my live show so that we could go get ice cream. But it was good. Um, and um, this is sweat because I refuse to turn on my air conditioning yet. Um, and I have that like sliding door back there, but it doesn't have a screen on it. And I can't just open it because um, Sandy will run outside and, you know, with her not being fixed yet next week, next week, but with her not being fixed yet, I can't really... Um, can't really just open it. So good morning, Stephanie. <clears throat> so let me pull up my solds here. I do have some shipping to do this morning. I haven't done it yet. I normally have it done by now, but um, I, um, I, I couldn't find an item yesterday. And this is an item that uh, already sold once and I had to drop ship it from somebody else. And I'm like, how did it get listed again, eBay? How did it get listed again? Because it shouldn't even be in like the, it shouldn't be in like the unsold. It should be in the solds. So it should never be an issue where I'm relisting it by mistake. I'm not saying that can't happen, but I'm just saying I don't see how it happened. Um, so I went to the storage unit to see if it might be there. And guess what? <clears throat> no dice. So um i am i don't know what i'm gonna do i think if i if i just cancel the sale i probably will lose my top rated um or be close to it and um and if not if i drop ship it i'm gonna get the late shipping ding which i mean i haven't shipped it and it was supposed to go out yesterday so you know, what do you do in those situations? Um, hey, Amelia. So I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but you guys can throw out. Um, what did I say? Okay, Chris, this is that. Um, it is a Breville juicer. Hi, Danny. Um, a Breville juicer pitcher, like the container that collects the, the juice that already sold once and... Um, I had to drop ship it because I couldn't find it and, um, somehow got relisted again and, and now it's sold again. And of course mine was really cheap because I was trying to, to, you know, try running sales and stuff. So I can drop ship it, but it's going to be like 22 bucks. I only got 12 for mine. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. Do I just cancel the sale, which will be a lot less stress and risk losing my top rated which is that really helping me right now i don't know um since it's only a 10 percent discount um and i only lose it for a short time i think probably for the summer so i don't know i mean top rating helps you in search so i i'm just on the fence you guys mull it over and think about what you would do um yeah um I mean, I guess I could reach out to maybe, maybe Josh, maybe Josh might have one, but oh, look, Sandy, Sandy, 
So anyway, let me jump over to the screen share and I'll show you some of the solds and talk about again why I am kind of gutting out some of my inventory. Um, and yeah, you do spy Sandy. Is it, uh, if it ships late, will you lo lose your top rated? No, I will not. I've got plenty of give in my shipping. So I may go ahead and just find one and drop ship it. And, um, I'll just send a note to the, the buyer saying, I apologize for this not shipping on time. So anyway, um, I sold these. These actually have to be shipped out today. And um, they are golf head covers. And um, they're new in the bag. Um, there was no, um, actually, no, there's no packaging with these, but they did appear to be new. They did not look like they'd ever been used. Um, so I bought these last summer and, um, I think I paid two or three dollars for them. I sold them for 15.51 plus shipping. So, um, this is a little iPod wall supply that I got in a bag of stuff. And, um, uh, Faye actually ordered this from me. So I, I shipped that out to her yesterday. This is a latch hook and um, it's a vintage one, 1979. Um, and the box wasn't in great condition, but um, yeah, that sold. I think I paid a dollar or two for that. This is the picture that I'm talking about. So um, anyway, um, I may have to order one of these and, and ship it. So. I'm really not happy about this, but because I don't understand how it can be listed in the error twice. Harsis, 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 right. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to text Josh real quick because maybe Josh can pull my fat out of the fire. Okay, so the um, this I just listed uh, the day before it sold. And this is a realistic um, sense uh, receiver, and it's probably from the 80s. Um, realistic, I believe, is a Radio Shack brand. Um, but uh, I picked this up for 10 bucks and um, sold it for $79.99 plus shipping. They paid about 40 something dollars shipping, and I underestimated the weight on this, so I ended up it ended up costing $56 to ship it. Uh, hopefully the mailman doesn't break it. Um, I found this squirt, I think at the bins and um, let me see, let me text Josh. And uh, so I paid almost nothing for it and I'm sorry to be distracted. There we go. Um, yeah, so he sold for $10.87. Um, here's a Hitachi bread maker paddle. Let me uh, open this up so you can actually see a better picture of it. And um, these usually do pretty well. They can be a little long tail. Um, I got this at the bins, I believe. And uh, it sold for $15.86. And you're going to see a lot of low dollar items like this. Um, this roll of wallpaper border for $6.50 plus shipping. And this um, these meditation cards for $7.79. I think I paid a dollar for these plus shipping. Um, here's a, a Febreze Scent Stories. This is a used uh, or a partially used uh, hammock. <clears throat> um, called relaxing in the hammock scent desk. And um, these still sell occasionally for me. I don't pick them up as much as I used to, um, but this low dollar stuff, I am trying to get rid of anything that I've had for over a year that um, is under $20. Um, it's something that's, you know, not getting views. So, um, you know, I'm trying to get rid of all of that stuff. And in doing so, I'm going to have to 
I probably will get down to about 400 listings, but I really want to increase my um, sales conversion numbers and my click through rate. And that's my whole point of doing this, this jacket. <clears throat> so I got this for $3. I was in Kentucky at a little thrift store where I buy rolls of paper to use for packing. Um, they're like the end rolls for, um, uh, newspaper newsprint and so they sell those little those rolls for like two or three dollars they last me a long time um, especially since I don't ship as many as much big stuff as I used to um, but I bought this jacket for three dollars and I uh, I've had it <coughs> probably listed for a couple months and I got an offer of fifty dollars um, and of course it was like six o'clock in the morning when I saw the offer. So I said, you know, I'm declining that. And then uh, once I woke up, like actually got up out of bed and stuff, I thought, you know what? You probably wouldn't take $50 for that jacket, but I bet you would take 80 for it. And so I um, contacted the, the, the potential buyer and said, you know, I declined your offer of 50, but I really would take $80 for this. And if you'll pay that much, um, I will, um, I'll go ahead and accept that offer. So, um, he sent me an offer for $85 and actually I, I counted and said 85, $80 is fine. $80 is fine. And, um, so he bought the jacket for $80 and then he was from Australia. He had it shipped to his girlfriend in California. So, um, he's happy. I'm happy. And, uh, I mean, $80 on a $3 investment. I'll take that every, every day. But um, this is another example of not accepting offers when you're sleeping. Um, the set of Pyrex cups, black background tells me they're well over a year old, probably a little older. Um, I took a best offer of $10 on these because I just needed them to move. Um, actually, I got to pack those this morning. Uh, Jubilee Cherub Angel. See how I spelled angel there? Isn't that nice? Um, cherub Angel Wallpaper Border. Um, I think I took a best offer of $10 for this. Uh, again, I, um, I remember I bought this uh, green uh, Vaseline glass cookie jar while I was on that trip with Chris in um, Indianapolis. And I think I paid $5 for it. Um, and I don't sell a lot of glass, but um, I decided to pick this up. I did take a best offer of $20 for it just to get it, to get it out. But um, um, I could have probably waited and gotten more, but you know, I just wanted to move it out. Hey, Karen, good morning. Um, here is, um, an Oscar mini food processor, one of the many things that I bought to part out, but I did not end up parting this one out because I think maybe the food, I don't know if the parts didn't sell as well on this one or what, but um, I ended up selling this one for $10.92. So it didn't sell that well <laughs> together either. Um, another one of the transformers that I bought in that big lot, I have made tons of money on those. Uh, it sold for $12 and 90 cents and this shipped in like a, a padded first class envelope. Um, I remember I bought these and thought I'd lock them together and I'm going to make all that money. No, I didn't $4 and 65 cents and I let them go. Um, here's a Cuisinart um, S blade that sold. Um, and the way this is written tells me it was a variation listing. Um, sold for $16.07. Here is a mocha pot. And I don't know. Are these too small to see? Do I need to blow them up every time? Um, this is a mocha pot. This one is a 24 ounce. So it's actually pretty tall. Um, and if you don't know about these, they actually come apart. Look at the bottom reservoir. This is the little filter basket. And then this is the, um, this is the actual coffee pot part. So, um, 
I bought this for a dollar or two and it sold for $18 and set uh, 26 cents. Um, oh, Chris says their sales have come to an abrupt end. That's too bad. Um, this does not, I don't know what's going on with this picture. Um, I think this is the black background behind it, but all of this silver is not even silver. It's black. And all of this is not present on the box. Like, I don't know what happened with this picture, quite honestly, because um, it does have a lot of lint on it. I don't know. Wow. Um, but it doesn't look like this. I think it's the, the light reflecting on the velvet. But this was just something I pulled out of the bins. Um, it was a, parf a Chanel Parfum um, gift box. And um, I sold it for $7.49 plus shipping. Oh, your parts sales have come to an abrupt end. Mine too. I'm, I'm not selling many. Um, this person offered me um, like $80, I think for these trays and then sent me a message saying, can she split the payment, like pay with two different methods, I think, or cancel. So I sent her a message back saying, uh, um, oh, sorry, <clears throat> my, um, I sent her a message back saying, um, you know, do you want to cancel this or just do you need more time to pay or whatever? Didn't hear back. And then she paid overnight. Then finally I get an email back or a message back saying, cancel the sale. My son made this buy. I don't want these. I don't know. I don't have a place for them. And I'm, I'm crying bull crap. I, 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 I call shenanigans. Um, so, I mean, I refunded them. I still have these. They're still in my storage unit and I probably need to relist them, but I wasn't looking forward to shipping these anyway. So maybe I will um, put them in a yard sale or something. Danny says her sales are getting better. Um, this is a Cuisinart S blade as well. This one was considered new because it was still wrapped in the original packaging. But I'll show you. That's what it is underneath. And that sold for $14.48 plus shipping. I got this at the bins. This is called Mimic Hair Color. And it's just this little uh, pouch that's got some powder and brushes in it that you, um, that you, I think, cover grays with. So, so that, um, I think I paid about, a, I probably paid like pennies for this because it did come from the bins and it didn't weigh anything. This Murano style, um, glass paperweight um i've had for ages and finally it sold for i think i took a best offer for like eight bucks for it or something um just to get rid of it these are used like roller skating wheels from the 70s i think 70s 80s and um chris and i got these when we were in saint vincent de paul in cincinnati and um I got two batches of them. I got a set of seven, um, like the gray wheels and then these for or five bucks. And the, the gray wheels sold already for about $25. And um, I got $25 for these as well. And I bought these because the packaging was really cool. Uh, here's a pair of foot joy wing tips. I think I took a best offer of $25 for these. Um, this is a, um, a Bible study audio book. Um, it was not complete. It was only discs 17 through 40. And I took, I took a best offer of like $10 for this. Um, America tech phone. Let's see. It's like a multi-line kind of thing. Um, I've had that forever. I sold that for $15 and change plus shipping. Um, this is one of the better sales that I've had. And I won't keep going on forever. Uh, this is a, a little nativity. So these figures are probably two or three inches tall. And I paid five bucks for this lot. And 
Um, this is one of those situations where Christmas items sell whatever time of year. Um, so she said, uh, are you really going to pack these in a padded flat rate? And I said, you know, I will, um, unless I don't think that they'll make the trip. She's like, they're fragile, they're old. Um, and so I, I guess what she didn't realize was that I was going to bubble wrap them all individually and put them in a box and then put them in a padded flat rate. And I, I guess that they arrived well because I haven't heard anything back, but I did tell her, you know, if I don't think they'll make it, I'll spring for the additional shipping. Um, this lady bought this um, nativity piece. This is a standing wise man. Um, do you notice that it says damaged right here? So she made me a best offer of $10 and I accepted it. And then she messaged me and said, oh, I didn't know it was damaged. Okay. Um, bought, I sold this Breville juicer base. I still have another one of these. I'm surprised it sold, quite frankly. Um, I took a best offer of $8 on this Joe Camel uh, baseball cap. And this did come out of the bins, I believe. Took a best offer of $12 on this uh, Ruby. This is an Avon Cape Cod Ruby Red pitcher. And I had this forever, forever. And um, I paid a couple bucks for it, two or three, I think. And... It just would not sell. Hey, Nana Beth, good morning. And so I did take a best offer um, on this just to get it moving. These are more Transformers. I sold these lot of two. I think I took a best offer on these of 20. And they're really cool. I still have a lot of these transformers last left and I've made hundreds of dollars, hundreds of dollars on them. Um, dream machine clock sold for 1285. Here's another one of the transformers. Um, I took a, no, this sold for 1118. Um, for that, I took a best offer on this, I think 40 or $50. I hated shipping this too because it was just so big and bulky. Um, this is a Pandora jewelry box that I bought and didn't realize that it was damaged. So the outside looks fine. And I got to talk to Holly about like cleaning these up when she's taking pictures of them. Um, but when you get to the bottom, like all of these little things are missing and broken. So this one didn't sell for as much. I think it took an offer of $25 for this little Pandora jewelry box, but it is suede. It's really nice. Uh, here is a Vic Victoria's pink sweater that sold. And I think I'm getting back into, I think we've already talked about some of these solds, um, but this sold plus shipping. And I paid a couple bucks from this. You know how I don't, um, Hey, Blythe. Good morning. You're listing with your daughter, Anita. Very nice. Um, you know how I don't like clothes, but um, I thought that this would, would maybe sell. I probably had it for a few months, but yeah. So um, I think I have shown these before. I don't know. There, This is more of the, um, ouch, more of the Transformers. These were actually McDonald's toys, and I took a best offer of $10 on these plus shipping. Um, this was that accordion case that I thought I was going to be able to retire on. Um, but I did end up taking a best offer of like $75 for this. Um, there were no cops really. Um, but I love finding stuff like this. I don't love shipping stuff like this. Uh, but anyway, so that's kind of where we are. I am all into um, taking best offers and trying to rid myself of low dollar stuff. Um, but yeah, so what I continue to do is um, I've got this list, this mega list somewhere. It's right here um, of all of this stuff. Of all of this stuff that I will be pulling from my inventory um, in the next month, 
if it does not sell, and a couple of pieces actually sold yesterday, that I will be pulling from my inventory in the next month or so so that I can um, just get it out of my inventory. It's pulling down my numbers, and um, I want to be as high in search as I possibly can. And I feel like... I feel like that I'm not going to be as high in search. I'm so distracted. I'm sorry. My community sale is June the 9th. So I'm just going to sell everything then. Um, but I feel like with my numbers like pulled down because of all this junk in my store and People are looking at some of it and not looking at others. Um, it's just killing my numbers. So that's kind of what I'm doing. All right. What's going on with everybody? Because I haven't talked to you guys in like a week. I feel like. I pretty much feel like. Um, and I wish eBay would update the, the data in the performance tab. Like it's only good through like. April 18th is all the data that we have. You know, it's March the 3rd, I think. Yeah, March the 3rd. So you've, you've got, a, got a couple of weeks that there's no data for. But anyway, I digress. So um, what's going on with you guys? How are sales? Um, let's talk about my diet. Mm. Well, I started at the first. I've lost two pounds because I actually started a little early. But, uh, yeah, I had a Big Mac yesterday for the first time in forever. Yeah, um, Chris Chris um, knocked a crown off her front tooth, <laughs> um, which is not funny. Um, it just looked funny. It's not funny, but it looked funny. When are you getting that fixed, Chris? Uh, Tammy says, I'm thinking of doing a yard sale to get rid of a bunch of my lower priced items. Also, me too, because the other option is just to redonate them. And, um, you know, I get no money for them that then. So this is my plan. I'll let you know how it works. I've got that storage unit, but I've got all of my inventory, but two tubs over here. And um, so the stuff that's in the storage unit isn't making me money. There are some items, some larger items that are there um, that don't fit into tubs, but um, I'm thinking of moving that stuff out anyway. So I want to get rid of the storage unit because it's just a bill. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to throw all of this stuff in a yard sale. What doesn't sell is not going to be donated to Goodwill, but we'll go to my storage unit and I'm going to box it up and put it all in there. And then I'm going to advertise that storage unit um, on Facebook marketplace for like $25 or $50 or whatever, depending on how much stuff is in there. Um, and somebody will come and clean it out for me and they'll give me a little money. So that's kind of what I'm planning for. Uh, Stephanie says sales are up and down. And that's kind of kind of what I'm hearing from most folks. Uh, eBay says I'm part of a small eBay glitch. Uh, uh, my store didn't automatically refresh for May, and so I have no store. And when everything relisted, I had to pay, um, but you got refunded. Oh, that's a terrible glitch. That's a horrible glitch. Um, Chris says it's a little funny. Uh, sales were abysmal, but are picking up. I hope I hope they are too. Um, <clears throat> well, um, the idea is out of the necessity because I have a freaking Volkswagen Jetta. It's a small car. And um, like just cleaning that storage unit out would just take lots of, it take lots of trips. So um, I'm thinking... I do have two, two shelving units in there, but I'm going to bring those out and put them in the basement. Um, but my husband brings me larger boxes, these boxes every week if I want them. And I'm just going to box stuff up 
um, when it goes back in that unit and leave out some tidbits. So there's like a, there's like a shampooer over there that's new that my friend only used once and the belt broke. Um, and it's a pretty expensive, well, not really expensive, I guess probably used, you can get 80 bucks for it, but I can get 50 bucks for the attachments. So what I'm thinking is I'll take the attachments off, sell those on eBay and leave the vacuum cleaner in there. So it's kind of a big thing. I mean, I don't mean to be tricky, but um, I'm figuring somebody can buy this potentially for yard sale goodies or, you know, or maybe their hoarder. I don't know, but I'm just trying to get rid of stuff. Um, Chris says she's pretty excited uh, right now about Poshmark listing. They're like crazy. That's wonderful. Uh, Emma says diet wise need to get back to healthy was diagnosed with IBS and it makes it difficult to go places. And there is nothing worse than having, well, there are, there are worse things I think, but for me, I like, that is just an uncomfortable, um, you know, frustrating disease to have. I don't have IBS, but I have some similar issues and, oh, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. So, um, yeah, get, get back on that healthy diet. So I haven't had cheese. Well, I guess I had one Big Mac yesterday, but I haven't had cheese for about a week, except for that one time. Um, and I'm okay with that. So that's doing okay because I'm trying to give up meat and dairy except twice a week. Um, but I have had meat. Um, a couple of times in the past week and I've had eggs a couple of times in the past week. So I don't know. I can't, do, I can't do it all in one day. Um, I'm going to have to lose weight. There's no, there's no choice because I can't breathe and I'm having a lot of asthma issues that I've had for the last four months. So I've got to, I've got to lose weight. I need to lose a bunch. Um, we can all probably, most of us can all stand to lose a little, but I need to lose a bunch. So we'll just keep, you know, kicking along. Um, yeah, there are, um, there are, I think, uh, let's see, I know some people that are paleo and they eat meat, vegetable and fruit. They don't eat um, legumes or, um, dairy at all, um, or breads. They don't eat grains at all. Um, and then there are keto folks that also, they have a similar diet, um, to the paleo folks. And uh, for me and speaking only of myself, um, I just don't think that's a healthy choice for me. Um, my brother has had a heart attack. And um, he's younger than I am. He's he's a bigger guy, but I just I just don't think that that's with a family history. I don't think that's a healthy diet for me. Um, and I think I would feel better and probably have more energy on um, you know a mostly plant based diet. Sarah Kay says she's trying to convince my husband to let me put my um, let me put my storage unit stuff in a box truck we have that he doesn't use and wants to sell. Um, I mean, if it's depending on what you're paying for the storage unit, it could be, it, it could save you money. And, and then if the box truck is sitting like where you live, it really simplifies you having to get things, um, you know, like when you're ready to sell them. So, uh, Amelia says, I have been eating healthy and walking every day. I haven't lost much weight though, but hopefully I will get some tires on my bike, um, that, uh, like shows she can get her exercise. You know, um, uh, Amelia, some of the food that you've been posting on Instagram looks so good. Um, and you'll get there. Don't, don't worry about it. You'll get there. You're making good choices. Emma says peanut butter and banana toast for breakfast, chicken and rice for lunch and, and dinner is my healthy diet. It's not much. It uh, makes me lose weight and I feel a lot better. So I did do, um, 
I did make myself the healthy salads um, this week. It's Thursday. They're still in there. I've eaten one. I ate one. Um, but I need some dressing. So I decided when this was over, I'm going to um, actually ship my items, get my items together, go to the post office, and um, and get some dressing for my salads. And maybe I'll eat two salads today instead of having a meal. Uh, Chris says she needs to lose a few pounds, but more than that, I would just like to get in better shape, may try yoga, and uh, getting more bike rides in. And it says for anyone trying to uh, lose weight, if you won't if you drink pop, I know from experience. Um, I am a diet soda drinker, um, but what I find is when I'm drinking mostly diet sodas and not enough water, I get dehydrated, which you would think that wouldn't happen, but it does. Um, Chris says she has a suggestion for an interviewee. Helen, uh, you do. Not a specific person, but an idea. Someone you follow on Instagram but isn't on YouTube. Oh, that, that's probably a good idea. Um, probably a very good idea. Let's see. Helen says, hi, it's been a while since I caught you. Um, well, Helen, welcome. Welcome. We're just kind of chatting today. We're just a little chit-chatty. Um, I know. I, Chris and I will be filming. We will be filming um, an interview. Maybe... I don't know what your schedule is like, Chris. Maybe tomorrow. If not, maybe Sunday. If not, maybe Monday or something like that. Um, I, Chris, I don't use Instagram for anything, like any selling. Um, but it's just a place to, like, post things that you sold. Or when I go live, I usually post uh, something over there. And um, But some people use it as a selling app. Um, it's just a, a, I don't know. It's just a different animal than Facebook. Um, so it's fun to play around with though. Let's see. Emma says, so if I love, I love, so am I, I love Diet Coke. When I stopped, um, it looked like I lost 20 pounds, but it uh, just bloated, just bloated. From, she said just bloated from sugar, which there's not sugar in Diet Coke, but um, that carbonation, Ugh. when I eat healthy for just one or two days, I just feel like my stomach is smaller immediately. Could be the poops, I don't know. But um, but I just feel not bloated. Yeah. Um, Chris says she likes to use it for selling. What you should do is just start following people, liking, um, liking posts um, and posting. And people will follow you and they'll like your posts. And once you get built up a big, um, a, you know, then maybe you could use it for sell, selling. Um, I just don't, I don't care about using it for selling. Um, but I know that there are a lot of people that do. Amelia says, I stopped drinking pop. Love, oh, Mr. Pib. Um, a bit ago, and I can't hardly drink it now. It just tastes like sugary chem chemicals. I totally get that. Um, how your taste buds change. Uh, Linda says she loves watching Instagram stories and she does because she tells me about it and says, go watch this one or this one. Um, just amazing. Lots of good information comes from them. I'm not great uh, at being consistent with my own postings though. Me either. Sometimes I'll forget to even open Instagram for a couple of days and I'm like, Oh, <laughs> they call Chris. This is why I love you, Chris. They call me Mr. Pin, right? from in the heat of the night. That is wonderful. Heart, heart, you heart, heart. Oh, my heart's damaged. Can you see that? Um, <laughs> but uh, I do enjoy um, Instagram. Um, and, and I mean, there's a community there too, because Linda said, do you follow this person? And I'm like, no, I don't. And she says, well, this person had their identity uh, or their Facebook no, had their eBay account hacked and they have gone. So now they're going through what you went through. Can you reach out to them? So I did. And I did. a. Um, I actually reached out to that reseller and started to follow her actually. And then I did a post where I, I took snapshots, screenshots of the document that I put in the Facebook group about what to do if your account gets hacked. 
and and sent that out to everybody. So it's a way to reach a bigger audience too, um, other than Facebook, other than um, YouTube. So anyway, Emma says that when I stopped for a month with Diet Coke, I took a sip like that ain't Diet Coke. It's funny your 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 um your taste buds will change. Well, I don't have a Diet Mountain Dew is my uh, weapon of choice, and I don't have any right now. And um, I am going to try not to buy any. So um, it's going to be tough. I'm going to a derby party this weekend. And it's going to be one of those, I hope I can just drink water. But I may drink, you know, soda. Um, I don't know. Amelia says she likes Instagram, but only uh, seem to post food and pictures of walking. But I know what to expect from you. So I follow a friend of mine that I have known for a very long time. We used to walk together. We used to work together. Um, like I walked somewhere. That's pretty funny. Um, but uh, she is going through a weight loss journey right now, too. And she's doing a, a more a much more vegan health um, lifestyle than I would be able to do. I'm not that committed. I want to go plant-based with more of a 90-10 kind of mentality. Like I don't want to eliminate food product or uh, animal products completely. Um, I just want to have them very sparingly. So <clears throat> um, most of her pictures are just a selfie with I, I you know I did this at the gym today or I did you know they're almost all selfies so um you know it doesn't matter just it's your it's your page do what you want it's you know it's your Instagram um let's see Tammy says get ready for the piercing headache I, and you know sometimes I wish this was you know I could hear you instead of just reading because um, it, it almost feels like you're in my living room already. Um, you know what? I was sick on Saturday and I woke up with a horrible headache and I was sick in bed until one o'clock. And um, I thought, you know, so I woke up at seven and I took some ibuprofen for the headache, which made me sick. Um, and so I, I laid there until one and I'm like, Ugh. mom always gave you Cheetos when you were a kid to make your stomach feel better. Go get some Cheetos. So when I got some Cheetos, I opened up a diet Mountain Dew in less than an hour. I was fine in less than an hour. It was caffeine. I hadn't drank caffeine the day before. Stephanie says, I haven't had soda in over two years. Giving it up does make a difference. Good for you. And Emma Huffman says, oh my God, I swear Mountain Dew started. My IBS, I quit years ago, and I think all that acid killed my stomach. Yeah. Um, Linda wants to know, do I have a big, oversized, fl flowy, and flowery hat for your party? I have not made a derby hat. And I don't know. I only have tomorrow, today and tomorrow, to make a derby hat. Um, I kind of want to. If I've got a hat in my closet, because um, I feel like I kind of threw them away. But if I've got one up there, I may get some stuff and decorate it. I just don't want to, I, I, I did the centerpieces for my sister. Let me see if I can show you. Kind of happy. Josh has not responded to me, which, let me see if I can show you. So this is one of the centerpieces that I did for my sister. These are $3.99 boots from Goodwill and then Dollar Tree roses in the top. And then the other one is this is a like a two dollar box from Salvation Army, a, a three fifty champagne bucket, and then uh, a dollar greenery and Dollar Tree roses. Um, and I'm hoping she loves them. So I did that. Let's see. Oh, check his store. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I have tried to stop drinking diet sodas many times harder than I ever thought it would be. Yeah, maybe I'll start going to sweet tea. Acid kills your stomach. I'm a goner. I know. Chris drinks lots of sodas. 
Emma says, I swear they put drugs and sodas. It's so addictive. It's, it's the caffeine and the sugar. It's the, you know, it's a perfect combination. Uh, Chris, uh, check a store. Emma says they used it too in cola years ago. Yeah. The cocaine thing stopped about the end of the 1800s or end of the 19, uh, end of the 1800s. But it stopped because no one wanted to drink drugs. Um, Amelia says I always had a problem getting bored drinking just water, but trying to stay away from processed drinks. Been loving diff, uh, been loving trying different brew teas. I, um, uh, I love sweet tea and I don't super sweet mine, even though I'm from the South. I, like Holly puts a cup and a half of sugar in a gallon of tea. I don't, I only put a cup. Um, but, um, I don't know if I need to transition to that, even though that's a lot of extra calories or, uh, maybe I cut back the sugar some. Um, but I do enjoy just slices of lemon in my water. Um, or you know fruit in my water so i don't like to do it often just because it's work i don't like work but we'll see let's see what are the centerpieces for so darn cute oh they're for my sister's derby party um so out at my sister's farm on saturday they're just going to have a get together and um we'll watch the races i guess and We'll just eat, hang out. That's it. Chris wants to drink drugs. Uh, Emma says she can't do tea. Um, uh, lemonade I can do, but that has so much sugar as well. At least the one I like. Um, we do tea every, almost every day here. Uh, we do tea with, uh, with uh, like mint. I buy fresh mint. And we do tea with mint in it, a uh, hot tea every night with some kind of treat like um, sunflower seeds or nuts or some kind of cookie. We'll do that every night. And then, um, and of course I was raised on sweet tea. Um, that's just a thing. That's just a thing in the South, but not everybody likes it. I get that. Okay. Well, I have had just a blast talking with you guys about what's going on with your sales and um, the similar struggles that we have dealing with the standard American diet. Um, and, you know, I have very strong beliefs about what our government lets the food industry do to us. But at the end of the day, we have a choice and I just not made good choices for the first 50 years of my life. So I'm hoping that uh, the second 50 years will be better. So, um, I am going to jump off here, get some stuff shipped. I'm supposed to have a, a $50 sewing machine sale today, local sale. And um, I don't know, is it wrong that they want to try the sewing machine out? I don't know if this person is a male or a female. If they're a male, they're going to have to try it out on the front porch because they're not coming in my house. Um, if it's female, I probably will. But um, anyway, um, so that's what I've got going on today. I will continue to kind of get down my inventory and then build it back up. Not saying that 400 listings is where I want to do is where I want to be. I'm just saying I have, and I'm at about, where am I at? I am at about, I've got a bunch of stuff that ended. I'm about 570 right now. Um, it'll be a recorded interview, Chris. So hopefully you can get your tooth. I, I mean, it doesn't bother me, but it, clearly it would bother you. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll wait until you get it done. It, it's fine. It's, I'm, not, I'm in no rush. Um, but anyway, Thank you for everybody for showing up. It was early, but you guys are all here. 30 views. Wow. That's uh, 30 viewers. That's, that's probably as many as I've ever had. I think the most I've had is like 32 or 33. So wonderful. Um, but thank you all for being here. Um, hopefully, maybe Sunday. Maybe Sunday I can get a listing party in. I don't have any inventory. So not a lot of listing going on here. Um, but I'm hoping to get some tomorrow. A few church sales, 
thanks everybody. Uh, I appreciate you all hit the like button, subscribe if you're not a subscriber already. Love you guys. Take care. See you soon.